I am not one to complain about rough coasters, but Wildcat was horrible. Honestly, it's the worst coaster I've ridden. Yes, even worse than that. But the story isn't that simple. Let me start from the beginning and share my thoughts on the world's worst roller coaster. In 2019, I visited Hershey Park for the very first time. It was a great experience and by far one of my favorite parks. During my visit to the park, I tried to get on as many coasters as possible. Wildcat was one of them. It wasn't my favorite Woody or even the best Woody in the park, but it was a good ride. After my visit to the park, I noticed a lot of people complaining about Wildcat being very rough. That led to speculation on whether or not Hershey Park would RMC it. Others thought maybe it could be the first to get the GCI Titan track. But this whole time, I didn't understand what was so bad about this coaster. I mean, I wouldn't complain if the park RMC'd it, or even if they decided to GCI it. But it was a good coaster as is. That was until now. This past summer, I took a trip to Hershey Park. The day was amazing, as any trip to Hershey Park would be besides two things. One was Sky Rush, which was closed, which by the way, is the second time Sky Rush was closed the day I went. The second thing that was wrong with my day at Hershey Park was Wildcat. So we get to the park and I head straight for the brand new shiny roller coaster Candy Monium. I know that's a foolish thing to do as the lines are shorter later in the day, but I couldn't control myself. Candymonium was fantastic. It was a little on the shorter side, but the drop was great and the ride was one of B&M's best in my opinion. I think Hershey could have added a bit more to the ride, but it was great as is. The back is much more forceful, but the front is another experience. I'd recommend trying both if you can. I rode the back row first and then the front. I love both. But if you can only pick one, I'd go with the front for this coaster. After two amazing rides on Candymonium, I headed towards Sky Rush, which was closed. I continued on my way through the park and decided to skip over the Great Bear. Comet didn't have such a long line, so I gave it a ride. On my last trip to Hershey Park, Comet was really good. I went so far to say it was my favorite Woody at the park, so I had to give it a shot. Well. I did. It was kind of a letdown though. It wasn't even close to as smooth as I remembered and there wasn't much air on it. I really don't know how this coaster went from me calling it a mini Al Toro to being just plain good. Don't get me wrong, it's an awesome coaster, but I can't say it's a mini Al Toro anymore. Though it's still my favorite Woody at the park. After riding Comet, I headed towards Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit really surprised me. It was a whole lot better than I remembered, and the repaint really makes it look awesome. The restraints weren't the best, but nothing to complain about, and the vertical lift is really an experience. I then headed towards Wildcat. Now, here's where my day changed. I was having a blast riding coasters at one of my favorite amusement parks. Hershey Park was a special place in my heart as the atmosphere is so enjoyable and everything they do is perfect. Well, usually. I get on Wildcat and start ascending the lift hill. The train gets to the top and goes straight down the twisted drop. It was a little shaky, but not enough to bother me. Then the layout continued and honestly, I don't rem remember any part of the layout after that. All I remember is wishing the ride was over and trying to keep my neck from falling off. Yes, the ride literally felt like my neck was gonna snap. I've never ridden a coaster so painful. I got off the coaster and the first thing I said was, they gotta do something about this coaster. They either gotta RMC it or GCI it or completely knock it down. I enjoyed Wildcat during my visit two years earlier, but somehow it got a lot worse real fast. It was shaking and vibrating, throwing me in every direction possible. I don't know how to describe it well for you, but you probably wouldn't want to know how it feels. Like I said earlier, roughness on coasters usually doesn't bother me, but this was different. I'm not one to complain about coasters. I've been on two boomerangs before that seemed totally fine to me, but Wildcat was really something else. 
I probably wouldn't go on the ride again if I had a chance. Because it's not fun at all. I don't know what happened after the first drop, but it was horrible. By far the roughest and worst experience I've had on a coaster ever. Hershey Park, if you're watching this video, please GCI or RMC Wildcat. And if not, remove it. I'm a huge fan of Hershey Park and usually you can't even find something to complain about if you tried when visiting this park. I think Hershey will announce Wildcats' closure at the end of the 2023 season. But I feel bad for anyone who has to ride it in 2023. It could be I had a bad ride on it and, norm and it normally runs smoothly. If you've been to Hershey Park this year, let me know if you hate it as much as I did. After my ride on Wildcat, I got a massive headache and it ruined my ride on Lightning Racer. I got some food and headed to the Hershey Tower after that. I like the Reese's Tower better than the Hershey's. Comment below if you agree with me. After the Triple Tower, I made my way to Storm Runner, which had been closed for most of the day. Apparently, there was some issue with the launch, but thankfully they got it up and running. This really got me excited because in 2019, both Storm Runner and Skyrush were closed when I went. Ugh, seriously, Intamin? This time it seemed like they'd both be closed again, which was a big letdown, so when Storm Runner opened, I ran. I got onto the coaster, and the switch track transfers us onto the launch track. Then it happens. The iconic... Now get ready, here we go. And just like that, I'm pinned to the back of my seat, launching up the top hat through the course. This ride is amazing and super unique. The inversions were spectacular and I loved it so much. I decided it was worth the wait for a second ride. The line wasn't that long because the coaster had been closed the whole day and most people didn't yet realize it was open. Following my awesome rides on Storm Runner, I took one quick ride on Super Duper Looper and headed back to Candemonium to get some more rides in before the park closed. Overall, I got a total of 4 rides on Candemonium, 2 on Storm Runner, 1 on Wildcat, 1 on Comet, 1 on Lightning Racer, 1 on Super Duper Looper, and 1 on Fahrenheit. I still never rode Skyrush. My favorite coast in the park would have to be Candemonium, followed closely by Storm Runner. Fahrenheit would be number 3, followed by Great Bear in 4th. I remember loving Great Bear in 2019, and at the time I had it ahead of Fahrenheit, but Fahrenheit really blew my expectations this time, and since I didn't get a ride on Great Bear, I moved it down to 4th place. In 5th place would be Comet. 6th is Lightning Racer. 7th is Super Duper Looper, 8th is Laugh Track, 9th I put Side Winner, and 10th Wild Mouse. Yeah, if you thought you'd see Wildcat on this list, it's after Trailblazer. Hershey Park doesn't really have a standout coaster right now in my opinion, which is why I think they could really use an RMC. Candemonium is in my top 5 coasters ever, but El Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure and Superman at Six Flags New England are both way better rides. Overall my 2021 trip to Hershey Park was pretty good but Wildcat was terrible. Hershey, please do something about it. And once again I didn't get to ride Skyrush so hopefully I can get back there in 2022 for my first ride on the controversial Skyrush and see how that stacks up.